hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how you can use recycler view on a fragment and then tapping on a item on the recycler view then opening a new fragment or for the details also i'm going to show you how you can swipe right and then delete an item so let's begin with adding a, a layout in our main activity And in this video, I'm going to use the Kotlin instead of Java. This is our linear layout. And here we are going to add a fragment on this layout. So for that, we need to create a fragment. So I'm creating a empty fragment. And I'm giving it a name the main and I'm going to use the Kotlin. I'm deleting all the unnecessary uh, command and the code which we don't require. We don't need any uh, parameters which is going to be passed from the activity to fragment. So I'm deleting all these. Since it already have two parameters, so let me remove all those two parameter too. And now it will create a fragment. And just to use the fragment, we need the transactions. Fragment transaction. And on the fragment transaction, we can call replace function and then we will use the container which we added in our layout and then we'll pass the fragment also i'm going to pass a tag for this fragment i'll show you why i'm passing this tag because i'm going to use it when uh, item will be clicked on the recycler view so in the fragment main we are going to use the recycler view so i'm simply changing the text view to recycler view and giving it as the id and we don't need this text so i'm removing it now inside the main fragment we need to grab the recycler view and we need to initialize and set our layout manager so let's do that for that i will create a separate function with the name init recycler view And we'll pass the same id what we gave in the layout that is the recycler view and then we'll set the linear layout manager now you need to set the adapter but we don't have any adapter so let's create that adapter but that adapter need to have some kind of a data so let's start with our data class so this data model class is going to have one string type and i'm giving is variable name as the title of a string now uh, we need to create a class for our adapter
and this adapter is going to hold the data uh, released of the data model type And now we will inflate our layout so we don't have our layout so let's create a layout as well and inside this layout i'm just going to keep uh, one text view this this is just because we have in our data class as a one parameter that is title and i'm changing it to constraint layout instead of linear layout We'll pass that layout file name here. Parent comma false. That will return as the view. Now, as I said, uh, we need to have the data to display in the recycler view. So we'll pass the data from the main fragment. So we'll hold it inside the constructor itself. That is going to be the list of data model type. now we need to as i said like we need to handle the recycler item click so for that i need to create a interface and i'm declaring a function on item click and which is going to hold the data model type of data and that listener also we are going to take in inside the constructor 
and that both the parameter both the values we are going to pass it from the main fragment and here we are going to handle it item click item view click And we'll pass the data model object. So our adapter is ready. Now let's go back to our main fragment and set it to our uh, recycler view. And we'll implement this click listen listener on our main fragment. We'll override that function. There is a now we need to pass this list data. We'll add some data later. And we'll set this adapter to our recycler view. Now list data is currently empty, so let's create a separate function to build some data. In this video, I'm not going to show you uh, like the API call or anything. It's just simply using the static data. So list data is currently uh, okay. So it will list. We need to have that array list to call the add function. And I'm going to add some static data inside this as a string. And we'll call this build data function. So this is going to be the detail fragment, same as Kotlin. And we don't need so many parameters so I'm removing all the parameter or the extra code since we have just title in our data model data class so I'm just going to pass one parameter so I'm just keeping one and removing others and it already have a text view I'm just giving it a ID I'm setting the text size also, I'm going to use the constraint layout in, in this as well. And setting this text to constraints so that it can just display that name which you pass from the main fragment in the center of the screen.
and we'll simply set that param1 which we pass inside the new instance function from the main fragment now here we'll attach the main uh, detail fragment to the activity now so here i'm going to use the tag which i set in the main activity and pass the value the title same as we need the transaction since we already have a one fragment over the activity attached so i'm going to hide that fragment and then i'm going to add this detail fragment over it so just we need to find that fragment which is already there we need to use this tag value and then we'll find and then we'll hide it And now this transaction manager there will add the detailed fragment and pass the detailed fragment and we don't need a tag id here if you want you can pass it and then we'll add this back stack null just to handle the back button click and then we'll commit it so this is how we are going to handle its item click let's run and see how it look like there you go so we see the recycler view and we can simply see the next fragment detail fragment it is showing the data that's fantastic now the next part of the video is we need to handle the right swipe and delete item from the recycler view so for that we need item touch helper dot simple callback so we need to implement this just to handle the swipe right and once user will swipe right i'm not going to simply delete it i will ask user in either they want to delete or cancel that deletion so for that i'm going to show you a dialogue before deletion I'm going to call a show dialog whenever item will be deleted or item will be swiped right. Let me create a dialog alert dialog here. Before that, we need to attach that item touch. and we'll attach our recycler view here now i'm creating a alert dialog whenever user is swiping right at that time the instead of directly deleting i'm going to show a dialog ask user if for the confirmation if they want to delete then they can confirm and then item will be deleted 
if user press cancel then item will not delete it will come back So here with the help of view holder we can get the position of the item where user is swiping right so based in this position we just simply need to uh, notify our adapter so in case of cancel we don't need to perform anything we simply call notify data set change on that particular item in case of confirm we need to remove that item from our list data and then we need to call notify item data remove removed and then set the position it's simple and it's easy let's run and see so you can see the data as tapping is working fine now swiping right and see the dialog if cancel then item is coming back if I'm confirmed then it deleted perfect so it's confirmed deleted so guys that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section thank you